So making money within New World is a major factor, but there are clearly certain levels to the whole money making scheme. I was a late bloomer when it came to actually making money so I kind of understand how the lower end of the market works, the system works and today I bring you a simple guide into making super fast money at more or less any level via selling items that are always going to be sought after and are always going to sell for a decent profit. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and to give back to you guys I'm giving away 10,000 marks of fortune for you to buy any of the in-game cosmetics. To be with a chance of winning these 10,000 marks of fortune simply drop a like on this video leave a comment down below make sure you are subbed and have notifications turned on. Winners will be announced at the end of the week and good luck. So at the lower end of the marketplace are numerous opportunities for you to make loads of gold coin. Yes for sure, as you level up, get to that level 60, you can craft and farm many other things and it gets a little easier to make money. But if you ain't at that level yet, even if you are a level 60, there are still many many things you can easily farm which will make you a great profit. Remember though, before you start any money making methods, any guides you see on YouTube where it comes to you farming things and selling things, always check prices on your server and do that at the busiest trading post which is usually ever full make sure things are worth your time in farming and selling before you do anything so we won't go in any particular order here so let's just get straight into it so first up guys and a great great seller probably the best i'm gonna list today salt salt is an absolute massive earner if you know where to get it the problem is most people don't know where to get it or just can't be bothered to go out and farm it. See salt is actually exclusive to provision crates and the best route to get these is this one you can see on the screen now. There are provision crates all around Everfall and following this route will probably take you around 15-20 minutes but you can earn upwards of 50 salt per run. But remember nothing is guaranteed from these crates. Now once you do get that salt, I personally on my server list mine at around 10 to 12 gold each and they sell instantly. But obviously you want to check your server for the prices on salt before you start anything. Now the route you can see I've set out via the New World Map website which is absolutely incredible. I will link that down below in the video description if you do want to check it out also. But most routes today within this video will be showcased within this website. Okay, so next up guys, and this may come as a surprise to many of you, but water. Water actually sells much better than you'd think due to the fact it's always needed and wells only allow so much before that cooldown starts. And if people are in a hurry or need more than what the well can offer and don't like going out to farm it, you know where they're going to head to, that trading post. Now you can sell water between a 0.4 and a 0.8 each and it normally flies out and considering how fast you can actually farm this thing if you know the right spots it's a decent decent money earner if you have a decent cow weight also head to your nearest freshwater pond and just farm away and then pull it up for sale with everfall being normally the most busiest outpost if i were you i'd use this freshwater pond right here being more or less right next to the outpost so head to this pond fill up on that water head to the Everfall trading post and pull it up for sale and see how it does for you. Water on my server sells absolutely incredibly well and for something so easy to farm I mean why not. Okay so next up guys is well both a great money making method right now but also at the same time a great investment. Herbs in New World drop high sop but each area beholds herbs that also drop other herbs which you can sell for great great money. On screen now you can see where each herb drops, what area is exclusive to, which can drop along with that high sop. High sop you obviously get every time you pick up a herb, or there's a chance you'll get other herbs with it. Here I'll check your server for the best selling ones. On my server, nutmeg, paprika, oregano, garlic as well, sell for the best profits. They all make that good money. For that future investment, high sop is about to become a much more popular and wanted herb because after the big November update, high sop is going to be needed in the creation of most mana and health potions, items we all need. So even if you buy high sop right now at a low low price, personally I myself, I wouldn't go over 0.02 
If you can get it for that much, I'd buy it all and just sit on it. Put it in your stash and just sit on it. Otherwise, if you do go herb farming, keep that high up. As you can see on the screen now, uh, our locations, in my opinion, the best locations for farming those herbs. Firstly, Monarch's Bluff. This area here in Monarch's Bluff is full of herb. Head here, rotate around this area and you will find a ton of them. Next up, first light. This area right here is incredible for herbs and I rarely see anybody else here. Next up guys is a great spot in Everfall, I've used this so so often and again I barely see anybody here. And lastly guys is a spot in Ebon Scale Reach which is by far the best spot for those herb plants i mean there is absolutely tons here as you can see on screen now all these little markers are herb plants the only problem with this place is though thyme and ginger well on my server at least don't sell for much money but if you're only interested in that high sap there's no better place on the map Okay, so we're going to move on and next up guys are malts. Those are life malts, water malts, soul malts, death malts, fire malts, air malts, you name it. They are amazing for that money. Now each individual malt on my server sells for around 0.50 to 0.90 each. The thing is, if you know where to farm these, you can get a massive amount of them in a short amount of time. Also, if you've leveled up that arcane bench, you can craft wisps and essences too. But if I'm honest with you, as it takes 20 malts to create an essence, you may as well sell the malts as essences sell from between 8 and 10 gold each uh, consistently. But if you can sell 20 malts or 0.50 each, you're more or less making around the same amount of money. But essences sell just as well, so if you can craft them, you may as well do that. And you may get a little bit more for those essences too because a lot of people haven't leveled up the arcana bench and they're looking for essences to obviously craft and cut those gems now i have posted a few amazing spots for what in my opinion are the best malt farming routes and i will link those in the video description but there's many many out there guys i mean you can also use uh that new world map website i've linked it down below if you just go there search malts or what get the proper names for the plants put that within the website and it will show you them all over the place and you can just make your own route and get tons of these things okay so next up guys we have oil now oil is something for me which always sells well but prices fluctuate massively for me over the course of a day with it being cheaper in the morning uh, to buy and more expensive on the night oil is also one of those things that will forever be needed and using this farm i will show you today using this location you can literally farm oil endlessly because there's just so much here gaining thousands per hour thing is also within the same area there are tons of death malt rocks and plants so you can just farm these at the same time i mean i believe here when i had a thousand oil doing this earlier i'm pretty sure i had almost 700 death malts at the same time that's how great this spot is now i would list oil if i were you at around a 0.10 or a 0.5 under whatever the nearest other available option is i mean like i said it changes over the course of a day but on my survey it always always sells so whenever you list it obviously you want to make sure to slightly undercut other people okay so next up guys we have ingots ingots of most kinds are amazing sellers we all know this but the two you want to actually grab that are the easiest to grab the easiest to craft are obviously steel and iron ingots these are incredible sellers and when you know of a couple of farming spots you can farm and craft these at an amazing rate to earn you that money now four iron ore creates one iron ingot and to create a steel ingot you need to be a level 50 with that smelting skill once you are there it takes three iron ingots to craft one steel ingot which is basically 12 iron ore so when you are farming these that's really what you need to look out for if you plan on and can craft steel ingots you may as well do that so 12 iron ore equals one steel 
ingot. It also requires two charcoal to craft the ingot, the uh, steel ingot that is. But charcoal is also made at the smelter. Um, one charcoal being made out of two wood. It's pretty simple guys, just farm any trees while you're out grabbing the iron and you're good to go here. Now you also need that flux resource for the steel ingot, which if you haven't got any flux, I'd be crazy surprised. But I mean, steel ingots are definitely worth buying from the trading post if that flux is cheap enough. For me, steel ingots sell at around that 140 to 250 gold coin mark. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. But when you farm iron in bulk and know where to farm it, it's actually an amazing gold making method. Plus, everyone's always going to need iron ingots and steel ingots. I mean, if you want to craft up the bigger ingots, I mean, star metal require steel, steel requires iron, and it just goes on like that. So it's always a process of people looking for the two at the bottom end of the scale, which is iron and steel. Now, there are some amazing iron farms on the map, and I'll show you a few on the screen now. I mean, iron is literally everywhere. Pick a spot, go there, and farm away. Okay, so lastly guys, we have eggs. Eggs, you're thinking? Yes, eggs are actually an amazing seller. Funny enough, it's clearly to do with food, as in why they sell at a good price. But exactly what they're used for, I haven't checked, so I don't know myself. All I know is they sell for easily between 8 and 12 gold coin each on my server. The problem with these, a lot like the salt I mentioned earlier, there's no guarantee you'll get them even if you follow a specific route through those turkey nests. Also, killing turkeys and skinning them gives you a chance of getting these eggs, so maybe try boosting that skinning luck and see if that helps. But yes, on screen now you can see an amazing uh, nest run or nest spot. I mean, there's tons here We're in this location on screen now. So I'm just run from one to the other. Check those nests, get those eggs and you are good to go, people. Also, remember any turkeys you see, you got to get them and skin them to earn those eggs too. But there we have it, guys. Some of the best, in my opinion, easy ways of making fast gold. If you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more new world be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one